Hello and welcome to my 21st C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we will continue to develop our simple pong game in C++. In the last tutorial we've created a class called cball that represented the ball in the pong tutorial with all the functions. In this tutorial we will create the uh, class that will be player controllable and it will be called um, paddle. So let's start by creating a class. Uh, the pedal is the actual player that moves up and down and bounces the ball. <coughs> it has private variables for the positioning, like the ball, and also the <coughs> original X and original Y, so we can reset it later if we need to reset. Uh, let's initialize the constructor C pedal and we will set the current position to the zero and let's create another constructor that will be different than the first one. It will have the position that will be set by these parameters and it will call the the current uh, constructor C pedal and we will add some things to it like keep the original position the starting position I should have maybe call it the starting position and let's set the pedal To the position that is provided by the constructor. After that we need to reset it so let's create an inline function reset that will return the player to the original position. Also let's create um, a function that will return the x coordinate, return x. We can do the same um, for the y coordinate, return the y, and we need to move up and move down. So let's create a function move up that will the y coordinate and the function that will move down that will increase the y coordinate and we can um, we can show the um, paddle let's copy and paste this code from here because it's the same and this will show us and change this to pedal and this will show us the pedal now let's create one object okay let's delete this and change this also to pedal and we don't have the direction anymore so let's remove this from here like that and create one let's create two pedals p1 that will have the position 0, 0 and C pedal P2 if we have the position for example X is gonna be 10, 0 and let's print out the player 1 and player 2 so we can test our code um, also, let's move player one uh, up and move player two uh, down and show now the status of those players, those objects. As you can see, the player one is at zero, zero at first you can see from the code 
the C out prints here. So player one is at zero zero, player two is ten zero. The X coordinate is ten, the Y coordinate is zero because we said that through a constructor. Uh, after that, as you can see, <laughs> player one moved up, it has minus one, and player two moved down, it has ten and one in the Y coordinate. So this works. And now we need to create the most important uh, aspect in our simple phone game and that's the class that's gonna control both of these uh, that will use both of these classes to create objects so it's a C ball class and a C pedal class and we'll call that class game manager so let's create the game manager will manage the game and the score of the game and actually every every aspect of the game so we should initialize one game manager and run the game um, we need to define the level in the game manager so let's define the width and the height of the level with two variables also we need to define the score for player one and score for player two also, we need to define the characters that are going to be used in order to move the player one up and player up and down and player two up and down. So let's call it up one and down one and up two and down two. Those will be the keys that will be used for controlling the players on screen. Uh, let's define a boolean. It's going to be called quit. So if the um, uh, the while loop will end if the quit is set, um, for example, to true. And now we need to uh, define a pointer. So we can initialize the ball with new, and create a ball object, pointer to the object, and two two pedals for player one and pedal for player two. That's about f of the variables and pointers that we need. And now let's start by creating um, the constructor for the game manager class. So let's scroll down a little bit. We can also remove this from here as we don't need it anymore. And the constructor uh, will have the width and the other parameter for the height and let's include um, let's include one more header on top which will be called time.age and we also need to include conio.age and we also but we don't need it currently we should include windows.age so for the slip function so let's get back to the game manager and we'll call the srand function that will randomize uh, the random number generator and we'll use the um, set the seed for the random number and time null function is called in order for uh, for it to get the current time in unix timestamp let's set the quit to false so the game will run and define the keys for players the first player we move on w up and the second player uh, will move on i up the first player will move down on s and the second player will move down on k you can change this of course to suit your own game and let's set the score to zero score one is equal to two and is equal to zero so this will set the score two to zero and score one will equal to score two that's also zero let's set the width of the game to the parameter up that will be uh, passed through the constructor of the object and the height will be h same as the one and let's position the ball on the center of the screen by creating a new ball 
and um, seawall. And the position will be width um, divided by 2 and height divided by 2. And this will place us in the middle of this, will place the ball in the middle of the area that the players will play. And now we'll create player 1. So we'll, we'll initialize the reserve the memory for player. C paddle. And the first will be 1. So that's the x coordinate. So we should move the player a little bit. Then the height will be um, um, the height. Sorry, um, the second coordinate um, is the y coordinate. It will position the player up and down, and it will be um, the total height of the map divided by two minus three. And minus three is because we need to position it on the middle of the screen, as the pedal will be. Um, by the four four blocks, and that's about for a player one. We can copy this and set the player two, and the we'll change the x coordinate to the width minus two, so which he will be shifted one block uh, from the right of the console window, and the height is the same. So that's about it for the constructor. Now, of course, we need the destructor because uh, we have dynamic memory. And let's create that destructor. And we should free the memory of the ball and player one and player two. This will free uh, the memory of these pointers. So this is very important. If you don't add that, uh, your program will create a memory leak. So add that. Uh, the game manager should have a few functions. If you watched my simple snake tutorial, um, game manager will have functions for input, uh, logic, and drawing, and one more function where uh, the game will be ran. So uh, that function will contain a while loop. Uh, also, we need. Um, a function that will increase the score of the player and I'm going to call it um, score up and that uh, function will um, will pass a pointer to a player which score we will increase as you can see the player um, um, the player will we will know if the score is for player one or player two by doing this we pass the pointer to the player so and we tell if player if that current player that is passed is equal to player one if the addresses are um, the same then we increase the score of the player one by one else if if player is equal to player two their addresses are equal then we will increase the score for player 2 and then we will reset the um, the ball and reset the players to their current uh, default positions uh, this is important because this is the end of the game when the score increases the game ends that's about it for this tutorial um, if you have any questions post them in the comments I will try to help um, thanks again for watching and please subscribe see you in the next tutorial